I haven't seen this many ghosts in one place since the Great Borgovian Haunt Fest. What happened here? <laughs> the Spirit Walker Elders put a curse on us. The curse killed us first, then trapped us here, in the desolate void between two worlds, where we suffer and rage and... Yes, yes. Been there, done that. But why did he curse you? We were all sinners. Murderers and outlaws. And then one of us stole a sacred relic from the spirit walkers. And we paid for it dearly. If there's one thing I've learned during these adventures, it's that curses can be broken. No doubt about that. We even know how. We have to give back the bone relic. But the thief escaped with the treasure. We don't know where the curse finished him. It can't be too far away, though. Actually, I've learned two things. Usually there is another option, but the second one is always bad. And you are right. We could also be released if the totem of the tribe is destroyed. It contains all their power, including the curse. But it's ancient and mighty, and the whole tribe will protect it. As a ghost, I feel a personal bond with these spirits. We should help them. And I agree with you. Strange, isn't it? We should search for that relic. <laughs> If the ghost was right about that ancient and powerful totem, it must be one of those magical seals that protect the plateau. It's possible. But my job description includes something about getting rid of ghosts. If we don't find the relic, I must consider destroying the totem. And what does your job description say about me? You're an exception. See paragraph 17b about valuable assets. I hate you.
That stew smells good. It must be the famous Hungarian goulash. The Hungarian goulash is a soup, although it looks like a stew. How could I live in this constant state of ignorance? Please tell me you had an emergency plan. I have a very powerful moonstone. Take it to the gate. Touch it to the stone. It will close the doorway. But the spirits are everywhere. <coughs> they will kill you. Hmm. It's never easy, is it? Do I really have to be the voice of reason? It's so boring. But a magical gate that opens into the winter itself must be one of those powerful seals. If we close it, we break it. We can't have monsters swarming all over the place. We deal with the frost spirits first. Then we see what we can do about the gate. Have you made up your mind? What shall we do with the gate? We don't even know yet what could happen if we break the seals. What could be worse? The unknown forces unleashed? Or the swarming frost spirits? You're not expecting me to choose for you, right? Flip a coin. We can't let those creatures invade the forest. Eventually, they'd reach the city. I'm closing the gate. It looks like a door, but it's not an ink gate, and the runes are from the ancient past of Borgovia. This land once belonged to Koshai the Deathless. This could be one of his magical gates to terrible places. I only recognize two symbols. One means star, the other means gate. Which makes no sense. You clearly must be wrong. This is my bridge. No trespassing, little mortal. 
sorry to interrupt, but I'm a ghost, as you can see. Can I pass? Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, you shall not pass. what they call monster hunting these days? Remember the old hunters? My word, they were good. These young ones, they're just dancing around. Just give him his reward and let's get back to sleep. sacred land. Actually, I have quite a lot to do here. I came to deal with the curse that the Spirit Walkers brought down upon a village. I want you to break the curse. I know that village well, a hive of murderers and brigands who stole from our ancestors. The curse days until we get our stolen relic back. You know, I don't like your attitude. I'll break that curse on my own then, when I tear down your totem. Van Helsing, I've rarely felt anything so powerful. It must be one of those magical seals. Still, we can't let those miserable ghosts suffer anymore. The totem must be destroyed. to eat me. What? No, silly. You my costumer. How do we raid if you in my tummy? Customer? Raid? Oh, this one dumb. I'm gonna get all his money. <laughs> I think he wants to trade.
use that. I can't use that. Someone doesn't want us to enjoy the view from above. The harder they try to keep me away, the more determined I'll become. Turn back, little mortal! You don't belong to this place! When they told us that the mountain is a forbidden place, I didn't think that everyone would take it so seriously. I am the mountain! The voice of the rocks. I'm God in this place. I need to get to the top of the mountain. Tell me, is there a way around the wall of ice? No, but if my splinter brothers agree, I can open up the way for you. Splinter brothers? I think he means the other stone heads around here. Yes. If they find you worthy, you can pass. Be smart or be strong. These are the only rules. If I had legs, you'd run for your life. It's a sacred place. Leave now. I won't let you... Yes, yes, we know. You have a question. How original is that? Tell me then. What is it? It goes up and up, but it never grows. Fever. You make me sad. And you thought you could pass. The Deathless gave us voice. Before you could pass, answer my question. Tell me, what is taller than trees? The sky. My apologies, Reed, but you are not worthy to be here. Wait! I am the guardian of the mountain. The god splinter that speaks. Yes, yes, just ask the question already. Tell me, what sort of stones do you find in a river? Pebbles. Are you making fun of me? Now you die! But 
Question first. Listen. Do we have to do this? Really? What has roots that you can't see? That would be a mountain. You are clever. Sad I am that I can't kill you. cleverest head. <laughs> Answer my question now. Which is the strongest? Fire, water, stone, or wind? Stone. Because it's the hardest. Good answer, little flesh thing. You can go now. Just because you are the magical embodiment of a colossal landform, it doesn't give you the right to play silly games with anyone. Hmm. We will leave now. Thank you. I'm a bit disappointed, though. A hunter like you shouldn't know more the correct answers.
A familiar face. Yes, I know you. You're the merchant I had to save earlier in Crokewood. What's with you this time? Do you know how hard it is to leave this horrible country? You really should give me a discount. Of course, which is just great since the prices have climbed really high since then. But this way you don't have to pay more. Although first you should set me free, you know. I'll go and talk to the spirit walkers. What are you doing here? You are disturbing our ritual. Which was exactly my intention. You're holding someone captive, and I want you to set him free before these preparations turn into a ritual. That man disturbed the slumber of the spirit of the deep. If that dark spirit crawls into the light, it won't go back till it's tasted human blood. We captured this man to calm the spirit with a sacrifice. Is there any other way to save this man? Of course there is. We can sacrifice you, for example. Or you know I could hunt down this evil spirit. But that's just an idea. You shall find the spirit in an ancient well, in the black heart of a cursed village. But you must hurry. We can't delay the sacrifice much longer. It won't be necessary. We already killed that pesky spirit. You did what? I am humble, restless one. You must be an even more powerful spirit, the goddess of the starless nights. Let us worship you with blood. We will sacrifice you a mortal immediately. That's enough. You are the true monsters here, and I will stop you now. <laughs> I fall asleep again. It's a rock and a hard what place. What is it with a public road in Morgovia? I can hardly find a functioning bridge around here. We are the mountain. You can't fight us.
It is a forbidden place, and I cannot let you enter. You were wrong. I passed the trials of the Stone Guardians. I do what I please. Hot Guardians? Those stupid slabs of rocks? Who cares what they said? I am the only true Guardian here. Remember what I said earlier about overprotective locals? You cannot pass without a fight. I can't do that. It's a rock. And a hard place. It is.
Van Helsing. So the winds have brought you here. How do you know my name? Don't be humble. It doesn't suit you. Perrin knows your name, and so do we. You came here to set Perrin free and use his power for yourself. We cannot allow that, because that would unleash a terrible power. But we know about your goal, and we want to help. We could tap the power of the Shackled Storm for you. Foolishness. You will need the full wrath of Peyrun against the Four Stones. You can't let these gibbering wardens distract you from your goal. Hey! You are not supposed to be here! Protection charms, forbidden plateau, remember? You have destroyed those charms, and anyone can enter now. Even creatures like this. Don't listen to him. He feels wrong. Listen to me. We could really tap the power of Perrin for you. And that's our last offer. Was this a thinly disguised threat, little warden? That's very ill-advised. Indeed it is. You want to fight? You'll get it. A storm is approaching the city. It will destroy the Four Stones and give us a second chance. But this is an unnatural tempest. Born in the Forbidden Mountains, where a sinister presence tainted the forest a long, long time ago. A mythical figure they call the Deathless. The more I discover about this land, the more secrets keep cropping up. I'm afraid that I have unleashed a terrible power, and now I'm going to let it blast through this tormented city. Hopefully it was worth it. This humble prisoner is most satisfied with you, Hunter. Perun's rage has been unleashed. Yes, and I'm having serious doubts about the whole enterprise. But it's too late for that now. So we should focus on the Four Stones. Are they falling? They will, when the raging storm engulfs the Forsaken City. The winds are howling, and lightning rips bleeding wounds in the sky. Your friend warns you to stay indoors for a while. Really? Back to the damp cellars again? There might be a task for you underground. While you were gone, I spent my time hunting for Fulmigati's secret laboratories. And I found the gate leading to one of the sealed territories in the ink. The fabled crystal workshop where the professor experimented with something uncanny. Your weak friend here didn't dare to enter, but you should. A secret laboratory in the ink? That sounds promising. 
Oh, yes. What could go wrong, I wonder? General Harker is sending a good old-fashioned army against us through the tunnels. He is a stubborn fellow. I'll give him that. A great opportunity for our resistance soldiers to hone their fighting skills. Shall I take the men to fight science with science? For the resistance! I'm starting to enjoy this, Van Helsing. I'm quite impressed with this layer. I feel stuck here. I need open air and blazing guns. What do you want from a fraud like me? What fraud? You're a gifted scientist. Oh, yes, I am. And what do I do? I distill essences, that's all. And this is a problem because... Because no one takes me seriously without a proper degree. Although I learned everything the hard way. Blowing up laboratories, making smelly bubbling things. I think you could go on for a while. We have to go. Ah, good day to you. You are the one who is always complaining that nobody takes him seriously without a diploma, right? Sadly, mm, it is true. Well, how about a nice certificate that would qualify you as a mushroom expert? Really? A certificate? I always wanted to be a mushroom expert, but I wasn't clever enough to pass the exams. I'm willing to pay a hefty sum for this. The Resistance Healthcare is in good hands, I see. Ah, look who is here! A little birdie told me that you found some moonstones in the wilderness. Does this birdie have a creepy mask on his face? Ah, uh, well, uh, actually, yes. It was Prisoner 7. See, Van Helsing? Your friend is always listening, always watching, always interfering. It's suspicious. Katarina, please. Knowledge and secrets are his trade. He told us this much the first time. Yes, we found the moonstones. Why? These moonstones are the crystallized tears of the mythical entity called Koshai the Deathless. Shattered, of course, but I could make them whole again. Yes, yes! Um, uh, only if you want it, of course. Of course I want it. Do it, please. Yes, it will work this time.
Why would they need a laboratory in the ink? Maybe they were experimenting with opening doors to other worlds. That's a recipe for disaster. How many lab accidents do mad scientists need to recognize that? Until a lone hero comes to clean up their mess. I don't expect them to change. What are these? I've never seen anything like them before. And I'm from Borgovia. I don't know. They were dangerously territorial. I think they were dangerously cute. them are about the Chimera. See that one? The origins of the Chimera. So, they were breeding Chimeras here. Grab the book and give me the highlights. Let's see. The Chimera is a creature made of the material of the ink itself. Clever, swift, and strong. Originally created by Koshai the Deathless as bodyguard and hunter in the ink. The ink slowly distorts them, though. So the older specimen are true beasts. So it's a hunting doggy with some character flaws? I wouldn't call them that. What if they're offended? So, what should be next? How to feed your chimera? Sounds promising. The chimera's body is raw ink material. And you can't feed a creature of pure magic with ordinary food. They live on magical essences that they smell from miles apart. We should find someone who sells essence on wholesale price. draft of a new volume. Let's see. In order to turn the Chimera into a loyal guardian, the prospective master must defeat it in a special circle of combat. 
If he or she fails, the creature is set free. I don't care about the failed attempts. Please go on. If anyone enters a circle of combat, a spell recognizes the contestant and summons a new chimera. We must find this circle of combat immediately. I want a chimera. I will call it Fluffy. This library is definitely a treasure trove of knowledge if you are interested in the Chimera. See that one? How to train your Chimera. I suppose it's not a tale of friendship and adventure between an imprisoned Chimera and a young boy. The Shell 4 adventure stories must be in the other corner. Let's see. I found something interesting. The Chimera is a creature of magic. Therefore, its body can be influenced by arcane means. Put magic candles in the summoning ring to modify its abilities. And what would be those new abilities? That's quite a long list. Greater strength, faster movement, thicker hide, bigger resistance to magic, advanced fighting skills. That's it! I want my own Chimera! Now! Don't have enough mana. simply disappeared before I could finish the fight. We must find it. Fluffy! Where are you?
powerful magic around here. Wait! This chest must be the source of the magic. It could be filled with essence. Glad to hear that. We always need more of that. Wait! We have just learned that the Chimera eats raw essence. What if they all smell it? Then we'll take care of them. I won't leave anything like this. You're not the only one who can sniff out magic. Green Lantern makes me nervous. It looks like something out of this world. And the monsters seem to feed on it. It's a rare artifact. We'll take it to our scientists. satisfied with your investigation, Van Helsing. You are the first man in a very long time who found himself a Chimera Guardian. Sadly, he didn't. We failed. I lost my Fluffy. Here I am, without a pony or a dog. You didn't lose the Chimera. It came immediately here to guard its master's home. You will find it in the study. Great. Let's see how it goes when the beast doesn't try to eat me. Fluffy? I can call it Fluffy, right? Everything is in order. The storm has passed and your mask friend told us that the lightning strikes had destroyed Harker's four stones. That's the perfect opportunity to launch the offensive and take back the foundry through the viaduct junction. Prepare two squadrons, Commander. We will use the ink gates to ambush the enemy. Harker must have used some sort of distortion device in the ink. We can't enter the gates. You have to advance through the underground tunnels. 
This man, why can't he make it easy for us? Just once. And it gets worse. Our spies report that there are certain creatures of interest in the army that occupies Viaduct Junction. Three of them, actually. And who would they be? One of them is Captain Blood, charged with heinous war crimes. The second is a serial killer, the Gas Mask Man, who is hiding among the soldiers. The third is an experimental military automaton. This alpha prototype emits poisonous radiation. You must deal with them. I am Prince Upia. I am the wrath of the Frozen Dales. I am the great and terrible. It is nice to make your acquaintance, Van Helsing. Likewise. I heard that you might consider joining our cause again. Your men made a convincing argument. My hatred towards the clanking scientific abominations knows no limits, and I should let my anger flow freely. I am an expert on the mundane and the occult. And he knows his way around the rebellions. He personally suppressed a lot of peasant uprisings back in the day. That is indeed true. I could be useful for your little resistance. <laughs> <laughs>